It's time to make the sled. Finally, I get to make the sled. Of course, the only reason I get to make the sled is because I needed to make the bed that we're getting ready to make. <laughs> so for the sled itself, I'm going to use three quarter inch plywood. I've got some left over that I used to make my cart for all my pen turning stuff. For the rails, I'm going to use this china berry. So the first thing I'm going to do is rip is give me a piece of the china berry. Now it's not completely flat, so I need to be careful when I cut it. And I've already measured my grooves, my T-slots, my slots, T-slots, my slots. They're three quarter inches wide, three eighths inches deep. So I'm gonna cut a piece off about an inch and a quarter so that I can get it nice and square and everything from there since this isn't flat. So the first thing I did is I do have a straight edge on this end and I used my T-square and I made a straight line. So I'm gonna freehand cut this in a straight line and then I'll start using my rip fence to get the pieces I need. You didn't tell me the fun part. The fun part. I have an hour. I have one hour to do this. She seems to think that perfection has a time limit. It has, it has nothing to do with the fact that I said I would do it in an hour. <laughs> that, that's beside the point. It doesn't count. So I'm gonna set my saw just a little bit higher than normal just to make sure because of the wobble. Dun, 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 dun. I timer. I'm getting ready to set my timer. Fine, timer, start, one hour. Timer is set. All right, safety glasses. Here we go. All right, so I got the piece I need. That was a nasty cut. It's it just binding a lot, all that right there. So let's run this through the planer to make it as flat as possible. Now I got this down. Are we recording? Yeah. yeah. I got this down for the thickness, basically the depth of my groove. Now I need to, it's not completely flat, so I need to straighten it up a little bit and then cut my three quarter inch wide pieces. Now I have a flat edge to go off of. There we go. Sweet. All right, that's done. Laid down, fence out of the way. Give an update on your timer too. What's your next second? I'm at 43 minutes and 30 seconds. My next step is to drill my rails because I want to have the holes pre-drilled to be able to screw it to my sled and I'm also only going to make my sled 18 inches deep. I don't need anything big. I'm not making a bunch of furniture. I'll square off both ends first. One inch on either side. Now this is 22. It gives me 20. The only screws I have that are short enough to attach my runner to my plywood are these three quarter inch screws that are used for pocket holes. They don't countersink. They have a flat head on them like that. So what I have here is a plug cutter, a three eighths inch plug cutter, which is just a little bit bigger than the screw head. These plug cutters I bought a while ago to use for another project that I got coming up that I'm doing for prizes. So I laid out four screws. I'm going to go an eighth of an inch, which is only the thickness of the head, and then pop that little plug out and then I'll drill all the way through. And then that way these will countersink into the rail and still hold it in place. 
I set my stops. It'll go down about an eighth of an inch and that's it. I'm at 28 minutes and 28 seconds. That doesn't include the time that was taken away from me while she was setting up her camera. <laughs> I don't have a chisel, but I'm gonna use my small little flathead screwdriver and I need to pop these out. If I wanna make this my sled, I need this for front and back, so I can rip this, spider not included. So I do need to rip this in half and then cut it to length. It's temporary, it's just holding it in place so I can lift it up and then screw it down. What I also needed to make sure was that the screws that I used to hold on the front and back rail aren't in line with my saw. That would have been really bad. So make sure you check that. That one's close. It is not there though. Those are in place. Now I screw them down and I'm done. Now if my calculations were correct, I did not, the screws did not penetrate the bed, did they? Sweet. Okay. I have a sled. Okay, I don't get how that works at all. Maybe uh, your saw going to catch up in the middle? Yeah. That's what these are for. I just want to verify that the screw is not close. All right, all good. So, she's afraid the saw is going to cut the sled. That's the point. It's going to. There we go. Saw's off. That's on. And let's see how it works. All right, so we're going to test it. What I did, I just took a piece of plywood, put it on my bandsaw, or on my compound miter saw and did a 15 degree cut. I'm gonna set it right there. Set this right there. On the edge. And let's see what we got. So if she wants her legs with a 15 degree angle cut, boom, there it is. It's time for numbers. For our tools and supplies, I already had all the material on hand. Everything that we needed to make this sled, I had on hand. The China Berry I bought over a year ago to make some pens out of, and it just came with a big slab. The wood, I, the three quarter inch plywood I had, I used that to build my cart for my pen turning supplies. The screws I had, because that was for another project, the glue we already had. So zero dollars. Time and material, my time is... One hour and 14 minutes. One hour and 14 minutes. 
in seven seconds. So I was, uh, I was 15 minutes over, technically 10, but we won't count the five minutes it took her to set up camera and everything. I'm just kidding. So an hour and 15 minutes, not bad for a homemade sled. I don't have a miter gauge on it and all that, but I can cut pieces of wood at the angle I want to make it. Again, time and materials, an hour and 14 minutes, seven seconds. Zero on materials, zero on supplies, zero on tools. I looked this up and you can get a kit that comes with rails and some T-slots and, and wing bolts. Those are, uh, I think those were $25. Uh, you can also buy a sled that you have to put together that comes with some wood. I'm not sure if it'll even fit this table saw or if it's big enough. It was nowhere near this big. That was $95. They have some that are pre-made with miter gauges and all kinds of stuff in them for $400. But let's go back. You buy the kit for $25. You still got to go buy a sheet of plywood to be able to make this. A sheet of plywood's what now? 70 bucks? So that's $94 and I did this for free. So I saved myself, let's say 90 bucks. I'll call it even. Let's say I saved myself $90. That's a win in my book. I hope you learned something. If you have some ideas, maybe some ways I could have made this a little better or easier, please put them in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.